It's the 23rd of February 2016. We're at the Horse Hill drill site near Hawley, very close to Gatwick in Surrey. I'm Vanessa Vine. I live about half an hour away from here. I live very close to Balcombe, so I've been very involved with the campaign to raise awareness of the dangers of unconventional hydrocarbons for the last four or five years. A particular concern about this operation is that the industry and the government are telling people that it is a conventional operation, that it's not fracking. The government has changed the legal definition of fracking in the Infrastructure Act. It now says that if it's more than a thousand cubic meters of fluid in one go, or more than 10,000 cubic meters of fluid altogether, then it constitutes associated hydraulic fracturing. If it's 999 or 9,999, it doesn't. Which means that they can say they're not fracking if they're using those lower volumes of fluid. This company, UK Oil and Gas, Stephen Sanderson, has been speaking a lot on the media, saying we're not fracking, we have no intention of fracking. We can't be in any way sure of that. It's mollifying local people into thinking it's all safe when we have absolutely no guarantee that it is all safe. We've had people, we can smell it now, we've had people here who've had the skin rashes who've thrown up from the fumes coming out of here. I can only smell it very slightly at the moment, but it has been very strong. We've now had Professor Stuart Hazeldean, OBE, who is a geology professor at Edinburgh University, raising even more questions about this new definition and the new legislation, because what causes the geological stress is the strain rate, which is more about the pressure than the volume. If you look into the Infrastructure Act yourself, you'll see it reads like a document from Yes Minister. It's incredibly complex, but what it appears to say overall is that there are all these different legislations and consents and permissions about drilling depths, but that the Secretary of State can override pretty much anything he blooming well likes. So what is going on? We need to ask ourselves, everybody, especially local people here, but everybody in this country, because they want to roll this industry out across this country, needs to ask themselves, why is the government and the industry apparently colluding in altering definitions and creating some kind of smokescreen of, it's all right, it's a conventional operation, we're just going to drill down a little way and pull the oil out. It isn't a conventional operation. We know they've got permission to use diesel underground. We know they've got non-site specific permits to truck hydrofluoric acid anywhere in the country. It's a highly caustic substance. How do we know when the government changes the legislation and changes the definitions in ways that aren't logical because the, the pressure is as significant as the volume? How do we know what's really going on? This new definition of hydraulic fracturing means that the operation that happened at Presall Farm in Lancashire in the spring of 2011 which they have admitted triggered two significant seismic events, wasn't technically a frack.